Well, speaking of soft tissue, it feels a little bit, I feel a little bit, uh, I don't know if sad is the right word, but it's going to feel a little weird having Artelon part of Striker. What a big <laughs> acquisition that happened. And now, so now obviously, you know, you think about lateral, like ligament disinstability, maybe we'll just call it that. But now you have yeah. you know, Striker slash Artelon is uh, on one, you know, one front, you have Conmed and the bio brace looking at it. Arthrex with the OG internal brace has been around. And then even Smith and Nephew has Ultra Brace. And so interesting to see. And I'm sure there's others that I'm missing, but all the different fixation options you're seeing for some of the lateral ligament instability with augmentation and what sort of options that we now have. Whereas before it was, you know, a perineal sacrificing non anatomic reconstruction or right. allograft or autograft kind of reconstruction, weaving it through the fibula, you know, that, which still that works great, but it's just interesting to see all the different options that have uh, been coming down the pipe. Yeah. And, and with options come algorithms, right? Uh, I mean, it's certainly a lot of work to do. I think that that decision making algorithm always, always trails and hopefully, you know, can be somewhat data driven, but always anecdotal, right? I mean, um, it's just fascinating to see uh, the interplay between uh, having a collagen allograft, soft tissue allograft, and weaving in absorbable microfibers to give you time zero strength and, and still maintain tissue elasticity properties. Um, Mind-blowing, right? Yeah. When all you had before was a cadaveric or, or as you said, non-anatomic or, or uh, you know, artificial suture. It just gives us more Fiber options. wire. Okay, I, I wasn't going to say it. But, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and, and again, that I think that has a role. I, I oh, for sure, um, yeah. You know, wouldn't downplay that. We don't know, you know, really where the, the future of these kind of biopolymer uh, collagen allografts lies. But, um, but you know, with more tools in your bag, you, you start to kind of find scenarios where you're like, huh, I think I understand this now. This is where I'm going to use yeah. blank product. Um, and I, I've really enjoyed the, the kind of counterculture uh, narrative around Artelon and, and share your your sadness to see it consumed or assumed or by by popular culture. But <laughs> but I think that's telling, right? I mean, I think uh, again that kind of speaks to the market, and I think people recognize that you know, this option is, is probably here to stay. Yeah, I'll say that softly. Yeah. Well, I think you know I, I made the 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 comment about fiber wire, but you think about like the fiber wire and the metal fixation screws that came out years ago, you know, where would we be without that, those, that kind of innovation and mm -hmm. how much of what we are seeing in the, in the exhibitor hall stems from that, and especially giving us so many more soft tissue options. And so it's always, it's just amazing to see how some of these things that started, like where they started. And it wasn't that long ago that all this stuff started. And, yeah. Yeah. And, the origin story around uh, this development is, is always it's, a fascinating backstory, right? Absolutely incredible.